Boy, when you search Dan Hurley on Twitter right now, one of the most popular tweets you'll see is some version of, Dan, would you make up your mind already? Here's the latest on what we know about the man. The daily fantasy leagues offer that ability to play for high stakes with a cost to play that for some tournaments can be as low as a single dollar. So there's a story out of all the exotic animals out here at the zoo. Alex Boone fell in love with the rhinoceros. <laughs> my boys are worth it. Oh my God. Okay, what else do we have? All right, wait, 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 don't wait. I mean, because I, I don't want to tell your personal business over the air. Just, just whisper it to me. How much does that cost? <gasps> <laughs> Wow, that that you love the Patriots. I do. <laughs> you know, Vikings fans obviously still salty about the treatment they got at the NFC Championship game in Philly two weeks ago. By the way, there's a lot of people who think that Tom Brady's going to win a big NFL award tonight, no matter what. I'll have more to say about that coming up in sports for now. John Henry Smith, live from Minneapolis. NBC, Connecticut News, back to you in that toasty, warm studio. I'm feeling for you, John Henry. I'm sorry. Well, Kaepernick has contributed to pop culture with the Kaepernicking <laughs> phenomena. Now he's going to contribute to our football knowledge, our knowledge of the 49ers going into the Super Bowl. Here he is at the podium in New Orleans. You, Cliff Averill, a lot of guys came from programs that had fallen on hard times. You hadn't had a lot of wins. You know, how does it feel after all that struggle to come here and finally get it done this way together here in Seattle? I think it makes it all the better. Let's talk about another guy, the jiu-jitsu man. He was a great story in the preseason because he used jiu-jitsu to get off that line of scrimmage. Great story, but now his play is making him a great player. Ron Streeter, first 100-yard game last night, four catches, 100 yards, and, and you know, Difficult catches, a couple of them. And this is what... Uh, they had a banner flying over the stadium yesterday with the big number 12. Certainly, the Seahawks fans acquitted themselves very well, and they can take pride in saying, hey, we were the 12th man, and maybe we did have a role in Seattle's big win. Michael? To spread the gospel of cricket to a new audience, an American audience, 28 of the world's most famous retired cricketers, including Sachin Tendulkar, have converged on the United States for an all-star tour of three baseball stadiums starting Saturday at New York's City Field. The talk of the town today has been this pivotal matchup in a few minutes between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Denver Broncos, but a close second has been the HGH implications surrounding Peyton Manning.